Hello to everyone and welcome to another Marino Genic video by Adventure Story Channel. Today, my dear friends, you will have the opportunity to see exactly what is going on if you have some troubles in Turbo Charger system. But today we will have also pictures mostly and videos and a lot of discussion and the details. If you have not subscribed yet, please do it, subscribe, your thumbs up, your comments, I wait for them and if you like to share with your friends who are also interested with Marine Engineer, you can freely share and discuss about the videos. Today we will talk about uh, one little problem that we have faced through my last uh, voyage and I like to share it with you so you will have a better understanding of turbocharger system and what to be careful what to check so you will be more uh, effective on what you are doing on board the vessel so I believe that always the improvement will help us to be better and more efficient in any other uh, cases in, in any other jobs and we will change the way of thinking of the maintenance we will be much much better and greater As I have told already, turbo charger system is very very important for this kind of engine, four stroke engines. And there was designed to work together and if there is any trouble in the turbocharging system this will affect all the engine and the cylinders respectively. In short, we will start together to see all the pictures and we will discuss all the details. Okay, let's start. First of all, I like to say that the silencer filter and the segments inside, which we have already taken over from here is really not washable and the reason is one the reason is that they will shrink they will be smaller and the distance between will be greater so if you have any damage filter and if the filter is uncovered uh, maybe they will be passing some parts inside but this is not so sure because there is also a grid on the top here, as you can see. That means that the particles must be less than that grid and to pass inside. My opinion of this damage here is that some particles really pass and also maybe it is some metal... Uh, Let's say the alloy it's not so properly made on uh, the factory. Maybe this is also one of the reason. Okay, you can see that some blades was uh, heating. Uh, maybe there is another trouble. Maybe some parts pass there somehow, but it's really really difficult to imagine how and what was going there. When I come on board, I like to say that. I saw one duct, one plastic duct, one was attached on the turbocharger silencer and I didn't like that and I asked uh, the previous guys that was there because I left with one third engineer and some oilers, I asked them why do you put there and they told me we put this uh, plastic duct because we have a temperature problem on uh, the exhaust gases of the cylinders but I was wondering why why to do that something uh, that means there is not enough air passing to the diesel generator through the silencer and I discovered that 
the segments here was very very dirty really was in dirty condition but the best way is not to wash them is to blow by air by compressed air and anyway uh, as you can see the dirty was really really bad and also i believe this kind of dirty if it is passing from inside as you can see it's accumulated then it will be uh, compressed a little bit by the pressure of the air and build in small pieces and then it's probably that this dust and dirty will be sucked by the compressor wheel and heat maybe this is uh, the really problem that uh, turbocharger have always place the original filter on the top of the silencer because as I have seen uh, most of uh, the engine rooms they use this white cover for the turbocharger filter but this is not proper and the design is different we must use the original uh, spare parts as much possible is it So this is if you have take out the segments and also we inspect number three diesel generator and this also that we find in the bottom as you can see there is some dust accumulated there but there is not trace of any damage on the wheel this is very very impressive the wheel was only a uh, black colored but not any heavy damage and this is the dust which is accumulated around the segments and inside the reason that we need to put a filter and this is the filter which used mostly on board is the white color but as said the manual the cleaning must be only by compressed air this is the most important and this is the blade of number three digital generator after cleaning as you can see there is also some small pieces of impact here also we have a vibration meter we take the vibration measurement in uh, different points of turbocharger uh, where the main body stands and we measure the, our measurement was uh, good we didn't find any vibration this is not made by the vibration and also we open this uh, cleaning chamber where you can see there is a small door which is uh, locked and we find also if you can see in the bottom some rust but this rust going out if I set my screwdriver on the wall there is a special paint there but rust is accumulated through the time and probably some of the pieces also here they go off from the paint and they travel through the pipe through the cleaning pipe for the compressor wheel also it's very very important to be check that one to be clean this is also very very important this is maybe probably was the problem also but it's not for sure and also maybe a little bit from plastic duck which accumulates this uh, dust through the time but as I tell, in all chambers, in all water chambers, we find rust and also all the segments of all these generators were, was little dirty and the other generators do not have such a big problem with the blade as we see in number one diesel generator. And also I was thinking uh, for the plan because our company have a plan of cleaning of these uh, turbocharger silencers and when I come on board I check that there was not maintenance schedule for the cleaning that was very very important so if your company have any schedule of that or not you must be scheduled your turbocharger inspection and before you done that, that inspection you must sure that your diesel generator is fully secured is stopped and uh, pressurized air starting air will be depressurized in any case that the generator will not start 
you must be sure first the, the safety part and then the work as always we tell and as always you must have in your mind also you will wear your personal protective equipment your mask your dust mask because this isolation that we have around the engine uh, can make damage to your lungs in prolonged exposure so be very carefully take your time to check your diesel generator parts be carefully and here you can see these two turbocharger sensors of temperature which will also will go off and will protect it by racks and will lock in some place that will not be uh, smashed by our working uh, maintenance there everything must be placed in the same place all the torques must be maintained and that was the reason that we take out number one turbocharger and we change it with another one in Singapore we have the opportunity to receive a new turbocharger uh, not so new was uh, rebuilt again by service engineer so they help us also to assemble because we was also tired and we have a good opportunity to work with them and to see how they put the turbocharger back uh, after that we make number two and number three alone without the help of service engineers but the the guys really really help us because we was also a little bit tired here you can see the solution and this is on the top which you can see also from my previous videos i have shown this uh, video here this is the base where turbocharger stands and secure with two big bolts in this position so never hurry up take your time until you inspect everything you clean everything good without any remainings on the parts because if you have any remainings of your parts on the surfaces uh, there is, will be difficult for assemble all the threads all the uh, touching surfaces as you can see here this is the turbocharger that we have already overhauled from number one diesel generator and you can see the clearances here with the blades and the body it's very 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 small but there is no any problem here and also the nozzle ring was really really clean but I have observed that after we replace the turbocharger the temperatures really really also change uh, dramatically okay we have let's say about 20 to 30 degrees uh, down in all all the cylinders uh, that is a big role of turbocharger as you can uh, see turbocharger play a big role to the overall temperature of the engine if your turbocharger is not working properly you will have uh, increased temperature in all the cylinders that means your nozzle ring it's not functionally properly because of the clogging and you will have also the surging effect which is really really bad for your turbocharger if you listen the surging the surging is a very very heavy noise and sometimes it's like explosions happen and also the diesel generator temperature will be highly increased and maybe there will be alarm alarm of uh, high exhaust gas temperature outlet for sure and also all the cylinders will go up immediately and uh, there is the time that you must start one of your uh, standby generators and stop the one that have problem but in any case do not work your 
a diesel generator in uh, such loads that you observe the surging. The immediately action is to start a standby generator and reduce the load of the generator that the surging effect appears. So also I have tell again that I make some pictures inside the air cooler so you can I can determine the condition also of air cooler we have this opportunity because we already taken off the turbo and we have a access to the turbocharger. I believe that this video was helpful enough to understand about the silencer, the turbocharger and all the parts that we have installed. Also guys, always remember to use new o-rings when you overhaul such machinery so you will not lose any time of overhauling again and take out the machinery again and again. Always replace them, always use spare parts, original and always have the safety in your mind because this is our priority and everything starts from there. Thank you for watching, don't forget to check my previous videos, I believe always we improve our videos here and we improve also our community with sharing the knowledge, the proper knowledge must be shared. So stay tuned, don't forget Adventure Story Channel because Adventure Story Channel is here for you, for new engineers, so they will have the opportunity to learn and I believe we live in this time, we live in 2018 where we must be more open and more close and communicate with each other this is the way that we must to develop and our future must be developed with that way thank you again see you bye bye